What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. And today we've got a Patreon request. So special thank you to my amazing patron, Jeremy. And Jeremy would like for me to take another look at the little smash concert-ish thing uh, that they did at 54 Below that Jeremy, Andy, and Krista did. I've seen, I've reacted to now maybe three or four performances uh, from this particular show, and they've all been awesome. But this one is really cool. So. In Smash, in the TV show Smash, in the second season, uh, Jeremy and Andy write a musical. They get this guy, Derek Willis, to like produce it for them. And Krista really wants this part of the diva, but she's like, as far as my mind, my memory goes, she's like not quite sure like how to convince Derek, the producer, that she's right for it. Uh, so in a bar, she like goes up during like karaoke or something like that, and she sings If I Were a Boy. And she crushes it. She does such a good job. And essentially right after that, like Derek's like, okay, done. She's the diva. Let's get this done. Uh, but I guess the producer, like the actual producers of the show Smash, they weren't sure what song they wanted Krista to sing for that big, you know, come to God moment for Derek. So they had her work on like a few different ones as like a possibility. Uh, and this is like a medley of apparently those songs that she worked on to possibly be that big song in Smash. So I'm really excited because I'm sure they're all going to be really fierce, awesome songs like her performance in that actual episode was. And yeah, I mean, it's it's Krista Rodriguez. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> so yeah, thank you again, Jeremy. Thank you all so much for watching. And let's go ahead and get into it. Derek Wills. <laughs> <laughs> God, I need to watch Smash again. I am the one. <laughs> It is a crime she didn't sing more in this show. I'd roll out of bed in the morning and throw on what I wanted and go. Gonna use my arms. Gonna use my legs. <laughs> really? doesn't feel right as far as the character goes. I'm glad I didn't pick this one. I mean, she's killing it, but in the context of the show. That was pretty good. I mean, none of these have sounded bad. They all sound amazing.
god, she was like born to play the diva. It doesn't matter what she's saying, she's got that personality. I mean, when she wants to, I'm sure she's a very nice person. I mean, yeah, like, yeah, they all sounded so good. God, Christa Rodriguez is so talented. But in in my opinion, at least, of, like, her character in Hit List and her character in Smash, If I Were a Boy was, was the right call, the right choice for the song, in my opinion. But, oh, my God, I need to see her and more stuff. Did she have, like, a really big role in The Addams Family, the musical? I think she played... Wednesday uh did she have like a lot of like songs I just I I need to see her as a lead in like a, a three-hour musical maybe she could play Eliza in Hamilton like I, I don't know guys what do you think let me know down in the comments do you think Krista could pull off Eliza Eliza Schuyler uh I, I i don't know i i would love to see her give it a shot though uh but man what a good medley what an amazing arrangement like the singer the actual character of the diva or the character of anna and then the person krista rodriguez her stage presence like the motivation behind her character while all of these would be sung uh you know in the show i think it was season two episode eight uh it was awesome it was so so perfect so well done and i just i i yeah i love krista with that attitude and that was all that this was and really like this does just remind me i really need to rewatch smash like it's been a long time and just to kind of put that in perspective like i watched smash before i even really got into broadway like i didn't know who brian darcy james was i didn't know who megan hilty was i didn't know who krista jeremy or Andy was like I didn't know who Christian Borel was everything was new to me I'm like oh these people are cool they're good at singing and they're you know good actors so I I, I feel like I'm doing myself a disservice not to go back and rewatch it knowing a little bit more of these actors like bodies of work uh if you guys think that's a good idea you know if I should react to the you know two seasons there was of Smash let me know what you think about that down in the comments as well I have technically seen it but it's been at god almost a decade probably since i watched like the whole thing through and not just the musical numbers um, and through all of these performances too these like 54 below smash concert footage every single time like anytime that krista is singing even if it's a solo like this or even if it's some like a song with all three of them whenever she is like front and center jeremy is just giving her this look and it's just like a supportive big brother. Like, it's just like, oh, I'm so happy you're doing this. You're killing it. You're crushing it, Krista. Way to go. Like, their friendship is just, it seems like it's just so wonderful and so pure. I would love to see the two of them in something. Like, obviously, they were both in Smash, but something else because you know it's never enough for me <laughs> but no this was fantastic jeremy thank you so much for the request for the patronage thank you all so much for watching 
and I will see you all in a reaction very soon.